Despite the fact that Canada is the second largest country in the world and that the majority of its homes are located in cold regions of the country, the Canadian housing market is still considered to be one of the most stable in the world. A new report by the Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation, CMHC, has revealed that the country's housing market is much more fragile than earlier thought. Recent CMHC numbers have shown that the number of Canadians who are deeply indebted is showing a considerable rise. In fact, the report has shown that over the past month, the average indebtedness has gone up by 0.3%, accounting for 105.1% of Canada's nominal GDP, and increased to 180.02% of the gross income in 2022. This is Savvy Economist and in this video, we will discuss why a fragile Canada housing market is bad for you, your friends, and everyone. The housing market is one of the most important sectors. It's also one of the most fragile and easily disturbed by external factors. Given its importance, we need to understand why a fragile housing market is bad for us as individuals and Canada's economy. Listen on to learn more about the housing market's current state and how it could affect you. The housing market is in a fragile state. The housing market is in a fragile state. It is slowly recovering from the housing crisis that started in 2008, but it is still vulnerable to another downturn. The supply of homes for sale is tight, and home prices are rising faster than incomes. This is making it difficult for many people to buy a home, and it is causing some to worry that another housing bubble is forming. There are several factors that could trigger another housing crisis. If interest rates rise sharply, it could make it difficult for people to afford their mortgage payments. If there is a recession, people could lose their jobs and be unable to make their mortgage payments. And if home prices start to fall, it could cause a wave of foreclosures and lead to another sharp decline in the housing market. The housing market is still in a fragile state, and it is important to be aware of the risks. If you are considering buying a home, be sure to do your research and be prepared for the possibility that the market could take a turn for the worse. When asked about the housing market, this is the response that the Finance Minister of Canada, Christian Freeland, gave in an interview with the reporters Monday. We had a better shot at buying a home and starting a family than young people today, and we cannot have a Canada where the rising generation is shut out of the dream of home ownership. She rightly admits that the housing market is fragile and not in a good state by calling the current situation a shock. Here's the thing, if the market is fragile, then it is a given that it is unstable. And if the market is unstable, the government is will have to take measures to ensure that it remains stable. What does a fragile housing market mean for you? When a fragile housing market occurs, it means that there is a risk of a sharp decrease in prices and an increase in foreclosures. This can have a devastating effect on homeowners, particularly those who are already struggling to make ends meet. If you are thinking of buying a home, you may want to wait until the market stabilizes before doing so. Even if you are not planning on buying a home, a fragile housing market can still have an impact on you. For example, if you are a renter, your landlord may be more likely to evict you if they can't find a buyer for the property. If you are considering selling your home, you may want to accept a lower price than you would like to find a buyer. A fragile housing market can also make it difficult to get a mortgage or home equity loan. So, if you are thinking of taking out a loan to pay for home improvements, you may have to wait until the market improves. Why is a fragile housing market bad for you and everyone? If housing prices drop because there is a significant rise in the number of mortgage defaults and delinquencies, this will mean that your home will be worth less. Sometimes, it might not even be worth the amount you owe. A fragile housing market is bad for you and everyone for a variety of reasons. First, it can lead to a decrease in home values, which can erode your equity and make it harder to sell your home. Additionally, a weak housing market can lead to an increase in foreclosures, which can negatively impact your credit score and make it difficult to obtain a mortgage in the future. Finally, a struggling housing market can also lead to a decrease in construction and home building, which can lead to a loss of jobs in the industry. All of these factors can combine to make it difficult for you to sell your home, obtain a mortgage, and find a job, which can have a major impact on your financial stability and well-being. 
What can you do to protect yourself in a fragile housing market? A fragile housing market can be scary, but there is no need to fidget as there are ways to protect yourself. One way is to be sure you are getting the best mortgage rate possible. Research different lenders and compare rates to get the best deal. Another way to protect yourself is to have a solid down payment saved up. The more money you can put down, the less risk you are taking on. You should also make sure you have a good understanding of the housing market in the area you are interested in. Pay attention to trends and be aware of what is happening around you. Lastly, don't be afraid to walk away from a deal if it doesn't feel right. There are other houses out there, and you don't want to end up in a bad situation. Protecting yourself in a fragile housing market takes research and knowledge, but it is possible to find a good deal. Conclusion Ultimately, a fragile housing market is bad for you and everyone else. By taking the time to understand this, you can make the best decisions to protect yourself and your family. Kindly drop your comments and replies in the comment section, and don't hesitate to like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.